What's going on guys and welcome to the video here. This is just a quick follow-up to the last one that I uploaded. Um, pretty much 24 hours in on this thing and all I can say is wow, this setup has exceeded my expectations as far as performance goes. So we've made 0 .86, uh, 0.896 HNT, it just changed, um, which is like $22 in a day. Um, and we're not even done syncing for Helium. So this is just phenomenal. We've witnessed 26 other hotspots in the last day. Uh, it's really good. So the difference between this one and my last build is I went with a 5.8 DBI antenna instead of an 8. And uh, I'm quite pleased with it. It looks like we're witnessing a lot of hotspots uh, pretty close to us. But we're also punching out. and. Uh, a lot of other ones so yeah this is this has been really great so um i think you know it probably has to do with my transmit scale and also the topography where i set this up and i'm, I'm also about 50 feet in the air so i think that had something to do with it uh but yeah this is just doing exceedingly well um compared to my other one so i'm also uh going to attach the build sheet to this video again guys um and I'm going to do a quick overview for you, too, if you want to try and replicate this build in your area. So everything I have highlighted in blue is going to be your lowest cost to get in the game, essentially. So that is using the Curlink hotspots, um, pull option one, and the rest of the stuff. I left some stuff not highlighted. That's stuff you may already have or you can easily pick up at your hardware store. Um... So we come out with a total build cost of $736 with an estimated monthly income just based on the few sites I have up right now of $150, $300, which leaves us with a 4.9 month ROI, which is extremely compelling. So I think I'm going to run with this model and uh, definitely, definitely try and scale up uh, from here. So let me give you the rundown of what I've got going on here. So uh, we have two pull options here. This one is a 30 foot, uh, like I guess for washing windows or dusting. Uh, this one is made out of aluminum, I believe. It's got these locking tabs. It gets you 30 feet up. Uh, this one's really nice. Um, if you want something a little more stealthy, though, uh, we do have this uh, MFJ 33 foot telescoping fiberglass mask. This one's black, a little more stealthy little more lightweight um i really like this one uh this is what i'm using in my builds um and then following that we have lmr cable 40 feet uh this one goes in and out of stock it's normally i believe 52.99 but right now it's 109 so what i would recommend doing this is what i've done as well on one of my builds is i'll just get two 20 foot sections and then you're about 70 dollars uh, for that uh if you need 40 feet and then uh, Rack Wireless Store, it seems to have most of their stuff in stock right now. So we can just pick up any antenna we want for like $60. Uh, so either 8 DBI or 5.8. Uh, that's what I used on this build. So really happy with the 5.8. That's what we'll go with. A ground clamp. Uh, so you can use this to attach this to... Uh, plumbing I, i've seen some people use faucets or like maybe gas meter i'm not sure um some homes the telecom already has these tapped in and you can use uh what they have we've got our outdoor enclosure from rack wireless really happy with this this thing's made out of aluminum so the only thing you have to do is just uh make sure um that you ground your lightning arrestor to this and then ground the actual ground uh that's out of the way and then really the only other thing is obviously like a lightning arrestor you can really use any type of light reference this is the one i have laying usually i'll use a different ring terminal on here because these are pretty crappy um and then most of this other stuff you you might have lying around or can get locally um so we've got at 60 thousand foot box you could get less uh 10 gauge ground wire and then the self-fusing silicone tape so we basically just want to use this on um, any antenna connection 
this quite liberally. Um, and then it just comes down to hotspot selection. So right now, the cheapest hotspot um, is the Perlink iFemto cell, I believe. Has a 10% discount started. Not sure if they have the 10%. Last time I checked, they had a 10% discount. So you were at uh, about like $404. Um, the one consideration, um, and let me know in the comments, guys, how you feel about this. But the Curlink iFemto cell compared to the Rack V2, the hardware specs uh, seem to be a bit lacking uh, compared to that. So on the Curlink iFemto cell, you are only getting six gigabytes of onboard memory, and then you're getting only 256 megs. And what I'm trying to understand is the Rack V2s, they have the black spot and the gold spot. The black spot has four gigabytes DRAM, and the gold spot has eight gigabytes DRAM. Well, that is huge difference compared to 250 so i'm curious if currently if does ram impact performance notice is it just a fluke that my rack v2 gold spot is doing so well compared to the curling uh or is it could it just be location and transmit scale or is this hardware actually noticing a difference in performance and I've also heard talk of light hotspots coming out, and perhaps it will nullify the need for having crazy hardware spec. So definitely let me know what you guys think. I mean, just on paper, $440 versus a very similar price, maybe a little bit more for the Rack V2. I think I'm going to go with the Rack V2 from now on. But let me know uh, what you guys think about that for sure. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I'm just uh, shocked at the earnings on this. Thing. this is a really really nice income now we'll see if it levels out over seven days and i'll have to follow up but so far i'm very pleased with it so yeah build link is in the description none of these are affiliate links this is my gift to you so um, feel free to use that as a guide for your builds and i will see you in the next